all the information shared in this video is available on the public platform. Nothing is discussed here which may breach the confidentiality of our armed forces. Defense Detective respects our defense forces and works only on the information that is available for public use. Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Defense Detective Global. This video is the part 2 of the Indian Air Defense System series. To watch the part 1, you can click on the i button at the top of this video or you can click on the link given in the description box below. In today's video, we will tell you about the weapons used in the short range and very short range air defense systems. The systems currently being used by the Indian Defense Forces in short range air defense are S-125 Pechora and 2K-12 Cub bought from Russia, Spider from Israel and our indigenous QR-SAM and Akash air defense systems. Short range and very short range air defense systems are required for face to face combat. Suppose the forces of India and China or India and Pakistan clash on the border. Then the short range and very short range air defense systems will be required. Because the area of war will be between 20 to 40 square kilometers, so there is no need for long or medium range air defense. So, in short range air defense, first of all, we will talk about S-125 Pechora and 2K-12 Cub which are serving our forces since many years. S-125 Pechora is a weapon of the Soviet Union era. For the last 60 years, it has been protecting the air force stations of many countries around the world. According to time and need, it has been continuously upgraded. New technologies have been added to it, but now it has come of age. The interceptor missiles used in this are of two types, one is V-600 and the other is V-601. The warhead of V-600 weighs 60 kg while that of V-601 weighs 70 kg. The V-600 has an operational range of 15 km while the V-601 has an operational range of 35 km. Both V-600 and 601 can hit targets at an altitude of up to 18 km. Both have a speed of 3.5 Mach. It is kept for the security of air force stations or airfields because in the event of a war, the enemy's first attempt is to destroy the airfields, airstrips and air force stations, which makes it difficult for the air force to operate. Three types of radars are used in this. The first radar is the target acquisition radar. As the name suggests, its job is to detect the target. Its range is about 250 kilometers. The second is the fire control and guidance radar. Its job is to fire the missile and guide it to reach the target. Its range is 80 km. The third is the height finder radar. Its job is to tell at what height the target is present. Its range is 28 km and it can track targets up to a height of 32 km. Proximity fuse is used for detonation in these missiles. So they do not hit the target directly but they explode themselves when they pass close which also destroys the target missile. They are still being used by many countries of the world including India, Turkey and North Korea. At present, more than 30 countries in the world are operating S-125 Pechora. The next system is 2K-12 Cub. This is also an air defense of the Soviet Union era. It is a mobile SAM which means that its launcher can move. They are used to protect the ground forces from air attack. They have been in service for more than 50 years. The warhead of the missile used in this weighs 59 kgs. Its operational range is 24 km, it can hit the target at a maximum height of 14 km, its speed is 2.8 Mach. Along with its launcher vehicle, it also has a radar vehicle. It has two types of radars. The first is target acquisition and distribution radar. Its job is to detect the target. The other radar is continuous wave illuminator. Its job is to track the speed and height of the target. Its range is 50 kilometers. More than 25 countries including India, Iran, North Korea and Egypt are currently using it. India currently has about 180 units. S-125 Pechora and 2K-12 Cub are now gradually being replaced by Indian defense systems. Do you know why it's called SPIDER? It is the acronym of Surface to Air Python and Derby Defense System. Python and Derby are the two missiles which are used as interceptors in this defense system. It is counted among the best air defense systems in the world. In the year 2006, there was a plan to acquire the Spider Air Defense System. After three years, the deal was finalized in 2009. And from the year 2012, Israel started the delivery of Spider Air Defense System. India bought 18 Spider MR Air Defense Systems under this deal. Along with it, 750 Python missiles and 750 Derby missiles were also bought in the deal. 
The warhead of the Python missile weighs 11 kg, whereas the warhead of Derby missile weighs 23 kg. Python missile has an operation range of 20 km, while Derby has a range of 50 km. Python can hit targets flying up to 9 km, while Derby can destroy targets up to an altitude of 16 km. The speed of both the missiles is 4 Mach. Both the missiles work on the principle of fire and forget. The Python missile can lock the target even after launch. It has an Elta ELM-2106 Advanced Tactical Acquisition Radar. This is a 3D electronically scanned array surveillance radar. It is used in the command and control unit. It can control the missile launcher from a distance of 10 km. If we talk about its detection range, it detects fighter jets at 70 to 110 km. Helicopters from about 40 km away and UAVs from 60 km away. Apart from this, ELM-2084 multi-mission radar is also installed in it. This is also a 3D ISA radar. In air surveillance mode, it can detect 1200 targets simultaneously. Its range is about 250 km. Spider Air Defense is one of the world's best air defense systems in the short range. We also have QRSAM and Akash air defense systems to support it in this layer. Now let's tell you about QRSAM and Akash air defense systems. Quick reaction surface-to-air missile that is QRSAM is India's indigenous short-range air defense system. It is an all-weather, all-terrain SAM system. It is a compact and highly mobile air defense system. It is designed to be ready in a few minutes. The radar installed in it can search and track the enemy on the move. It gives 360-degree coverage within a radius of 30 kilometers. Through this, rockets, drones, jets or helicopters coming from any direction can be shot down. Its operational range is 3 to 30 kilometers. It can hit targets flying at an altitude of 30 meters to 10 kilometers. Its interceptor missile has a speed of 4.7 Mach. Now let's talk about Akash Air Defense System. It is also mobile surface-to-air missile. Indian Air Force and Army both are using it. The Air Force currently has 13 squadrons. Two more Akash batteries have been ordered by the Air Force while the Indian Army currently has two regiments and has ordered two more. Its operational range is also 40 km. It can hit the target flying at an altitude of 20 km. Its speed is 3.5 Mach. It has Rajendra 3D radar. It has an operational range of 60 km. It can track 64 targets simultaneously and can intercept 12 targets together. Apart from this, work is under progress on Akash NG, that is, next generation missile. Its fourth test firing was done successfully on 26 April 2022 at Pokhran. The system was cleared all the tests and is ready for induction into the Indian Army. Now let's go ahead and talk about the fourth and the final layer that is very short range air defense system. It consists of 9K33 OSA AK, 9K35 Strela 10, 2K22 Tunguska, ZSU-23-4 Shilka, ZU-23-2 Bofors 40mm gun, KPV heavy machine gun and AZP-S60. There are also man pads including the 9K38 Igla S and the FIM-92 Stinger missiles, soon to be joined by the Star Streak, which is the most advanced man pad. 9K33 OSA AK is a tactical surface-to-air missile system. It is highly mobile, which means that it can be taken anywhere very fast. Many different types of radars are used in this, which can detect enemy jets and helicopters from 30 km to 250 km. The interceptor missile used in this has an operational range of 15 km. It can hit targets at an altitude of up to 12 km with a speed of about 3 Mach. During the war between Armenia and Azerbaijan in 2022, Armenia shot down the Sukhoi-25 fighter jet of the Azerbaijani Air Force with this system. More than 20 countries of the world, including India, are still using this system. The next system in the fourth layer is 9K35 Strela 10. This is also a system which was developed by the Soviet Union. It was specially made to counter helicopters. The missile used in this has a range of 5 km. It can hit a target at an altitude of 3.5 km. Its speed is about 1.6 Mach. The next system in the very short-range air defense is the 2K22 Tunguska. This is also a Russian system through which missiles and 30mm cannons can also be fired. The cannon's rate of fire is 4 to 5,000 rounds per minute. The range of the missile used in it is 8 km. It can destroy the target at an altitude of 3.5 km. 
its speed is 2.6 Mach. Apart from this, ZSU-23-4 Shulka, ZU-23-2 Bofors 40mm gun, KPV heavy machine gun and AZP S-60 anti-aircraft gun are also being used. They are mainly used to shoot down aircrafts in a very close range. There are also man pads which can be used by soldiers by keeping them on their shoulders. These are also deadly systems that work amazingly in a very close range. These include 9K38 IGLA-S and FIM-92 Stinger missiles. Very soon, Starstreak will also be included in this. Starstreak is the most modern man pad at the moment. Apart from this, India has also become the fourth country in the world which has the ability to fight war not only on land and sky but also in space. After the US, Russia and China, India is the fourth country which has the power of anti-satellite weapon. On March 27, 2019, India conducted Mission Shakti, an anti-satellite missile test in which a satellite located 283 kilometers above the Earth's lower orbit was shot down by a missile. With this test, India officially confirmed that the ASAT missile used in the test is a ballistic missile defense interceptor and is part of the Indian ballistic missile defense program. Its biggest feature is that it can also be used to shoot down ICBMs, that is, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Currently, India is working on directed energy anti-satellite weapon. It will be laser and EMP, which means electromagnetic pulse-based missile, and will be used in future. The anti-satellite weapon is also necessary because in future the war is going to be fought not only on the land and sky, but also in space. To mark this achievement, a customized stamp on India's first anti-satellite missile launch was also released by the Department of Post in September 2020. All these defense systems together protect India from air threats in whatever form they come, be it a spy satellite, long-range missiles, fighter jets, helicopters or drones. And the biggest thing is that with the help of technology, these systems are constantly being improved so that new types of threats can also be dealt with. Friends, hope you like the two-part series about India's air defense systems. Please like and share it as much as possible so that accurate information reaches every corner of the country. We will be back soon with another video. Till then, goodbye. Jai Hind.